Okay, so I'm sitting here sewing. I had to take a break because the drawstring casings to this bag need to be ironed again. And um, the iron's heating up. So I've got bag parts laying all over the place. <laughs> so I'm working on uh, putting the drawstring casings on. And then I'll be sewing these parts together and putting the label on. And then all I gotta do is close them and um, run the drawstrings. I'm catching up on some YouTube videos right now. I'm watching Kim, the Crafty Nomad. And yeah, so I'm waiting for my irons in the kitchen heating up. <laughs> I might actually be able to finish uh, the bags today. I'm gonna try. It's only like four, not even four. It's like 325. So if I could just keep focusing, <laughs> don't get distracted, I can finish up all the project bags tonight and then take their pictures and get them all ready to be posted either late tonight or early tomorrow sometime. I have to get up early in the morning to go to the DMV. It opens at 8.30 so I'm going to get up at 7 and get dressed and go sit outside and wait because our DMV gets so full so fast and it takes forever. All I have to do is um, some driver's license stuff from getting married because I procrastinated it. But I got my knit crate today. It's right here. I am going to film a knit crate video later. I might have to stop sewing just to do that. I don't know. But um, I guess I can give you guys a sneak peek since you'll see it anyways. I got to reopen it. I taped it back shut because... Um, it was in the car and I didn't want the yarn to fall out and get dirty. Eh, it's hard to do that one hand. But I didn't even know what colors were coming this month because I wasn't paying attention. But I got a green color. Let me come in here into the lot. The better lighting. It's got paper on it. But it's like tonal green. It's almost got like a yellow mixed in with it. And it's that braided stuff again. And it uh, says it's DK, but it's a little on the thick side, I think. And it's 100% fine Peruvian Highland wool. <laughs> the tag's bent. Uh, sport weight, 328 yards each. So that's like 660-something yards of yarn right there. <laughs> oh, 50-something. 50 56. And I come with this a... Uh, stitch marker. I really like the hardware on this because it's like a lever back but it's a round one so you can use it for knitting and crochet. I need to figure out where they got those from and to get some. But I'm going to see if my iron is hot and I'm going to um, iron real fast. I cleaned up my craft room a little bit. Still got to go through my whips but I'm going to save that for a video because I think it would be a fun video. And yeah. Hey guys, good morning. I'm sitting outside the DMV right now. <laughs> It's 8.10 and they open at 8.30. So I'm sitting here with about six other cars waiting for them to open. I got here early because I wanted to make sure that I didn't have to wait forever, but I may still have to wait. I don't really mind. I'm sitting here, I'm working on another cowl. I brought something easy so I can work on it in there without a pattern. And I'm just sitting here. I gotta do a few errands today. I gotta go pay our light bill and stuff like that so I'll try to remember to film a little bit throughout the day I didn't film much yesterday so I didn't even upload because I was just so busy sewing and all that but today might be a little bit more interesting I should finish the project bags when I get home and get them posted by this afternoon so yeah just got some hair and crochet hey guys so I just got home from the DMV and the bank and the electric company. I went to the DMV and I went in at 8.16 because they opened the doors early for some reason. They've never done that, but I wasn't going to question. <laughs> and I um, only had to wait a little while there. I was out by 8.41, so uh, not very long at all, which is, I think that's like a new record for the DMV. <laughs> but um only had to re um, get a, I think they called it a duplicate. It's just where I had changed my last name on it finally. And uh, they went ahead and renewed it, so I don't have to worry about it until 2027. So Jesse will be 11 years old the next time I have to renew my license. Oh my God, that's crazy. I'll be 36-ish, 37, which is crazy. <laughs> but whatever. I'll be 37 already because it'll be October that year. But I got my new driver's license, the paper one. I have to wait for the plastic one to come in the mail. 
Then I went by the bank and did the same thing for my debit card. So I'll be getting a new debit card in the mail. <laughs> and then I had to um, run to the electric company to pay our light bill because it's actually due today. So I had to <laughs> pay it. And then I went to the post office because I'm, I'm expecting a package. But it's still in transit. It said it might come later today. So I'll check it later. But um, I got another Nick crate. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but they sent me another one. And it's the white cream color one. Um, I, met, I emailed them because I wanted to see if they wanted me to send it back to them. And uh, depending on what they say, I might end up giving away two of them. <laughs> because uh, I don't really like 100% wool yarn. And this is 100% wool, both of them. So now I got a cream color one and a green one. <laughs> and uh, if they tell me to just keep this, then I will probably give them both away in the knit crate video when I make it, which will be later today. Um, actually, I might wait to hear from them. I don't know. <laughs> You'll see it when you, when it pops up, I guess. But uh, I was already planning on giving away the green one, and now I got this one, so I'll wait for their email. And they're usually really fast at emailing uh, me back every time I've had to message them. So I'm going to sit here on the computer and pay all of our bills that I can pay online and uh, wait a little while. It's almost time to wake Devin up. It's about 20 minutes till he wakes up. Oh, no, he's sleeping in today. So then I'll sew after this. I'm almost done sewing. I just have to sew the in, the liners to the outers and then run the drawstring casings and the bags. So the, the project bags will be up today. Probably by the, yeah, by the time you see this, they'll be in the shop. Um, I'm shooting for sometime this afternoon. I have a doctor appointment at 2. So I'll get home. At, I don't really know. <laughs> 3 or 4, depending on how long I have to wait at the doctor office. Um... And then I'll put them up then, I guess. So, they'll be up by the time this vlog is out. And then I'll make a video earlier today. Um, announcing that they're out. And I'll also make a Facebook post. And, yeah. So, I feel good. I adulted today. I finally got some stuff done that I've been needing to get done. And I'm going to sit here and adult some more and pay some stinking bills. And, uh, yeah. All that jazz. Alright. Hey, guys. I am back again. I went to our local uh, thrift store and then I went to Walmart. I had to go to Walmart to grab some labels for my Etsy shop update. Um, I'll need more labels for orders. And I went to the thrift store looking for a tablecloth, but I ended up having to buy one at Walmart. And I also got uh, a bunch of hangers at the thrift store because we needed some more hangers. And I found a really pretty uh, fall tablecloth um, that I want to... It's not necessarily for our apartment here, but I want to put it up and save it for when we get a house because it's a round tablecloth, but I thought it was really pretty and I wanted it for the future. <laughs> but it's just a big round pumpkin tablecloth. It's uh, like two different shades of brown, kind of a gold brown and like a taupe. It's really pretty. It probably costed a lot originally. I don't know. So here, it was like $3, I think. I found that sticker. It was $3.99. And it's a 70 inch round tablecloth. So I thought that would be so pretty when we get a house uh, on our table when we have a dining room. <laughs> so um, I'm going to put that up. Or like a breakfast area. And then I also bought. Get the tags off because the tags has got it closed up. I got two Halloween sewing projects they had there they were a dollar 99 but they were um half off because they were orange i mean even look at it but it's this way let me show you it's one of those sewing projects kind of like that book that i made recently so this is a witch with a sign that says please perk your brooms at the door and it's got the instructions on how to uh, sew it and what else you need for it. So for this particular one, you just need a yard of batting, a yard of backing fabric, and then you, optional, there's buttons and googly eyes and a, a thing to hang it with. And uh, yeah, so that'd be fun to make. Maybe not this year, but by next year, maybe. And I got this other one. I didn't get to look at them 100%. I made sure they were whole before I bought them. But they, uh, the way they have them tagged, they're tagged folded up. So you can't really ugh, unfold them all the way. Let's pick her out. Alright, what is this one? 
Ooh, this is big. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a big old jack-o'-lantern with a big hat. <laughs> this one, let's look at it. Back up here. <laughs> let's look at this and instructions. What does it need? Okay. This is for a door panel again. And all you need for it is a yard of batting, a yard of back fabric, thread, gluing or glue sticks, metal hanger or small small plastic ring. So that's really cool. I've got some batting. I'm not sure how much, but um might be able to make one of these. I'll probably make the witch first <laughs> to hang on our door. That'd be so cool, but um they're only a dollar each and normally those panels are like anywhere from like low $7.99 plus a lot of them are 20 something dollars a panel so that's cool and i also got mrs doubtfire <laughs> on dvd because we didn't have that one and also at their store i found a orange bright orange two yard um material for three dollars so that um that's pretty good for two yards and this is like thick nice material i think that's everything i got at the thrift store uh, i got some thank you cards <laughs> sometimes they have like generic thank you cards and I like to buy them there because they're they're normally 99 cents, but the ones I got today were half off, so they were 49 cents. So that's good. And um, then I went to Walmart, like I said, I got uh, labels for my printer and a ta um, what are they called? Tablecloth. <laughs> I'll, I might show you that later when I throw it on the table because I want to make sure it fits. It should fit, but I'm gonna throw it on one of the tables just to check it first. And yeah, so I think that's everything right now. <laughs> Okay, I just walked through the door and did a little bit of laundry. Let's see here. I just hung up Devin's clothes. And I got a bunch of wire hangers out of the closet and exchanged them for the plastic ones I bought today. Because I hate wire hangers. And if Devin keeps bringing them into my house, I'm going to go all Joan Crawford on him. And I'm going to beat the crap out of him with a wire hanger. He does not need to bring any more of those in his house. I hate wire hangers. Not gonna be mommy dear, so if I beat up anybody with it, it's gonna be Devin. But it's 15 to 4. I just got back from my doctor appointment. Ugh. <laughs> I hate doctor appointments. And um, it was an annual, if anyone knows what that is. So that was fun. But before I left this morning or this early afternoon to drop Devin off at work, I made I finished nine project bags completely. So I still got 17 over there to finish. I'm gonna do that real quick. It shouldn't take me very long because I only have one more step to do and then the drawstrings So I'm gonna try to hurry up and get that done so that I can get those bags in the Etsy shop in a couple hours and up already and Then I need to film a knit crate video, but I'm I don't know if I'm gonna have enough light My main focus right now is to sew so I changed into some pajamas <laughs> My no kitchen name shirt Devin made me and I'm got dinner thawing out because I forgot to thaw out meat earlier so uh, I'm throwing out some chicken because it'll thaw it should thaw pretty fast it's really thin cut I'm gonna cook that in the oven somehow just season it and cook it and then we can eat it with a salad um what else I gotta make some tea later not important right now <laughs> I got a headache my blood pressure was high at the doctor which I know it's been high because I've been eating you know, before the last few days, I've been eating like crap. <laughs> I've been taking care of myself, and I'm trying to um, change that. And I was talking to myself out loud in the car on the way home. I was, I was yelling at myself. I got triggered by something. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was going to stop and get Chinese food to bring home for dinner. And then I, and then I was like, no, I'm not either. I'm going to go home and thaw out some meat and cook a healthier dinner than stopping and getting sodium-full Chinese food. <laughs> so I'm um, home. I didn't stop and buy anything. Food is in there thawing out right now. And I'll cook it when it falls out after I finish sewing and get all that done. I gotta get my work done and then I'm gonna relax and hang out. Maybe film if I got daylight. I need a light, a really nice bright one. But um, I got a knit crate video on I need to get out. And then I'm gonna stay here and crochet and probably watch something on TV until 9 something tonight. And then I'm gonna go fill the car up with gas. And then I'm gonna go pick Devin up at work. That's the plan.